Mark Savage here and welcome to my channel. The first look at a Peugeot Speedfight 4125 liquid cooled LC version. Not had one yet. If you noticed my last videos, I got in a Speedfight 4 for parts. I've still got to do the crank on that, it's a big job, but these have come along. This has got 10,000 miles on the clock, one owner from new, 68 plate, so it's a late 2018 model. Condition, hmm, well, let's have a look round. But before we do that, let's talk about some specs. This is the fourth generation now. Uh, they've been going some time, the old speed fight. One and two is lots of fun, 50cc and 100cc, two strokes, two tees. They then brought out the speed fight three and four, which are 50ccs and 125s. The 50 is still a two T, but the 125 is a four stroke or four T. Air cooled and water cooled versions. This, as I said, is a water cooled version. About 120 kilos, eight litre tank. Now, speed which often people talk about. Some of the 50s, you can get some amazing power out of them. And the third gen and fourth gen came out, not so much. Um, this will get you to 60 miles an hour quite quickly, but does run out of puff. Um, a little bit depressing, really, but you can play with them if you can get the parts, exhaust, different rollers and variators and so on. Being new, they're still quite hard to get parts for, or just haven't done them. Top speed. Yeah, I don't really say about it, to be honest with you. It seems some will get 65, 67, 68, 70 downhill, back down, but you know you're going to get up to 60 miles an hour quite quickly, being a 40. Um, general spec, nice double front lights, um, same as the old one. What's wrong with this one? Well, let's have a quick look around it. The front end I actually quite like. I do like this double projection bulb. I'm assuming that it's one on one off like high beam and low beam. Twin front forks, 13 inch front wheel. This is a bit cack, isn't it? And this is three years old. And they all seem to do this. Come off, rub down, blow over, blow them over black as well. I prefer them black to be honest. Now, I'm assuming we'll have a look when we start repairing it, because the first look, that's going to be um, your side light and two main lights. Colour's quite nice on this. They seem to do a matte black version, which I don't honestly like, if I'm honest with you. It seems to hide the bike. I like them being this colour and the other colours they do. There's a simple variator system, big airbox, single rear suspension, centre stand, fuel at the front. Just in case you wonder what this is, your VIN plate's under there. And your little shopping little trolley thing if you want to put a little bag there. Simple controls, indicators, horn, high beam and flash. And this is this little clever little bit that spins around. You've got USB in there and you can put a sat nav or your phone or whatever you want there. Simple display and obviously start, two blanking plates. So when you put your key in, all the way, just twist and this will get your seat up. Under here, quite a nice size. This is going to be battery, and this used to be 2T. This is now your antifreeze, so that's a header tank. Unusual because the old ones used to have them here on the freeze, and on a 50cc, which this is, the radiator is at the front with the reservoir tank or the header tank. Let's keep looking around it. There's going to be a sump screw. Should be 70 mil, I guess. Looks like it's LED backlights on this one. We'll have a look later. Exhaust is just a bit cack, really, isn't it? <laughs> they could have done a nicer job of that. And I think you're going to start seeing a little bit of damage here. And whoa, what the hell is that? Huh? Really? Huh? Why would they do that? Okay, uh, I don't know. Um, that's the radiator. We've... What? What? Yeah. Now, obviously there's your oil and you can test the oil. We're going to drain all that out. And here's your radiator at the side of the engine. It looks just horrid. Why do they do this on this bike? No, they do it on the 50cc at the front. Because here's a Speed Fight 4 with it at the front. This is Speed Fight 2, and if you look closely, you can see it there. So 2, 
Ones and twos and threes. Why would they not put it under there? Sorry, but that looks just ugly as sin. Anyway, we're going to have a look at all this, um, get the panels off. More telltale signs why it's in with Mark Savage. Looks like it's been over. More telltale signs, and there you go. Yes, it's been over. But, but aren't these in poor condition? Do you know, oh, this has probably been outside all its life, I'm guessing. Bit of road salt, but still pretty poor. So first look around, need some work. Um, I think it looks quite nice, except for that radiator. Oh, I mean, all right, you're just going to sit there, but it's, it's not very appealing, is it? You know, I know I've tried to cover a bit of plastic. But a design, maybe because 125, it, I don't know. It looks so much better under there. Um, that's really puzzled me. Anyway, it starts and it sounds like an old lawnmower. 10,000 miles on here. I don't think it's ever been um, serviced. So that's the first thing we're going to do, air filter, plug, and oil. Already put, just the plug. Air filter on order, and most of the time they don't have filters, just straight in and out oil. Um, the mirror's going to come off, the brake lever's all going to come off as well. Now I will say, on the older ones, and I've just done them on the Mark III I had, video coming out very soon if it's not already out, um, these are four pot calipers, so they've got four in there. The old ones used to literally just have one slide out and push against the other side. These have got four pots. Seems very much over-engineered when they don't engineer something as simple as these, so it's the parts. And I found these aren't as popular. You still pay good money for Speedfight 1 and 2s, and you can get a 3 cheaper. Do you know? It just, it, it's mental. Anyway, let's look at this when it starts. Turn on. Nice and simple. And oh wow, both the lights come on and they're LED. That actually looks quite nice. Look at that. Break in, engine management on. Starts. Can you see the shake? That's, that's not good. I don't quite know why it's doing that. It's a bit odd, isn't it? Have to look at that. LED backlights. Let's just see if that's got anything to do with that. All oh, right, there you go. Switch was just slightly uh, pushed in, I guess. Maybe at WD-40. But I have to say, I, I really do like the look of that. Look at that, high beam, low beam. Right. Let's just stop that. It's not happy, is it? Um, when I put the high beam from low beam, you see them go off on them again. Uh, I've got to take that apart, WD, or just uh, maintenance spray it. So when I get these off and these off, I'm going to spray it all up. And I think it's just been left outside. The spanner's on, which could mean for a service or could mean there's something wrong with it. Got to investigate that. But there is a nice and easy and simple look around one of these. See if you're going to get one. Up to you, really. And um, about three grand new. That's a lot of money. This is th just under three years old. And they depreciate like any other bike. You've just got to take care of them. I've started seeing these come up now for sensible money. Um, this front brake feels actually really quite stiff, so I might have to service it. I did the other one as well. I didn't do a video of that. I must admit, maybe I should have. So there you go. 120 kilos in weight, give or take. Eight litre tank, so it's just under two gallons. It says a ridiculous amount of miles per gallon. I think one of the sheets said 130 something miles per gallon. That would be just outrageous and mental. Um, <laughs> I've got a Dodge Ram that gets 15. <laughs> so, yeah, I may go blasting by him or whoever rides this, him or her, and then regret it as they keep going and going and going. Being water cooled, um, I'd most certainly suggest anyone wanting to go a long distance on a 125 get a water cooled version they're better engines um, better for long distance as well and if you're gonna buy a 125 
moped, then you may as well, scooter moped, you may as well get one of a quality brand. Your Lex Motos, you know, videos on my channel, the same old things go wrong with them. These seem to last a bit longer. However, this is a bit poor condition for what it is, I say, he came off it when the first couple of days of buying it. Um, that's what we've got to clean up. And let's get on with it. Right. Thank you so much. Please like, share and subscribe. Watch the next video. We'll start taking this down and finding out what's what. Bye-bye. If you check around the outside somewhere about now, there'll be the 125 pit. If you check around the outside, there here somewhere will be the Peugeot Speedfight 3125. I did a review of that many years ago. 20,000 views. Really just a quick review of that one. Um, it wasn't the, so the engines have definitely changed because it wasn't like this. Maybe in the air cool to be honest with you. But all in, not a bad little bike. Right. Take care of us on the road. Thank you so much for watching. Wait for the next one of this to come out. We'll start stripping it all down. Bye bye.